this is Lisa from Casa de Greenly Art. I am back with a very interesting, fun summer project. I'm going to paint a wooden flamingo, as you can see. I will put a picture over here somewhere of what it looked like. Um, before it got all taped up, I should have taken a photo and I didn't, so I pulled one off the website. I think this is going to be kind of a fun project. I'm going to be doing the beak and the legs in a different color. So this is going to be the pink body part. And the colors I'm going to be using today are Bubblegum Shimmer by Porridge Posse Paint, Pink Flash by Folk Art Color Shift, Groovy by little This Little Piggy Pigments, Watermelon by This Little Piggy Pigments, Pearl Pink by Arteza, Pearl Rose Quartz by Arteza, Quiniac Rose Light by Amsterdam, Persian Rose by Amsterdam, a little Pearl Sparkle by Holbein, and some Titanium White by Amsterdam. I think I'm going to do a Chaos Pour, and then I might come back in with some Australian flow trawl to try to kind of do the wing area a little bit or something else. We'll see how it goes. You're going to be experimenting with me on this as much as I am. All right, so I'm going to do this in a chaos pour. I'm going to start with a little bit of white as a base just to give the some, the paint something to flow on and also cause some cells and I'll probably add some more of that a little bit later on I really do enjoy doing kind of the chaos stuff because you don't have that you know, you're not stuck with just something, anything. You know, you're, you're basically doing whatever you want to do and kind of just going with the flow. Don't have to follow a pattern. Worry about composition. This color will give a nice contrast. This is a watermelon by little this little piggy pigments. Get the neon pink in there. This is the Pearl Sparkle by Holbein. Quiniac Rose Light. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. But. And finally, the Pink Flash. And a little bit more of the Titanium White. See how this goes. I was a little worried about not having enough depth 
in this, but I do think it's giving some really great cells and there's enough colors to give it some depth where it won't be flat. Now I decide, do I want to try to do a little bit of wing action with the uh, Australian Floetrol on here? For those of you who don't know, this is Australian Floetrol. It comes in a little tiny container, pretty darn expensive. I'll put a link for it. Um, this is mainly used for people who do swipes. They mix it with either the Amsterdam Black or the um, Amsterdam White um, Titanium, a little bit of water, and it, when you put it on top, it will create cells. I do use this uh, quite a bit when I do chaos pours, and that's about it. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the wings, because I do want there to be wings. Um, let's see. I am going to pour a little strip here and a strip here. Let's just fill that in a little bit. And I will blow that and see what happens. That did give some definition to the wing. Do you see how that is selling up? I'll do a, a close-up of it so you can really see the cells popping up on here. But I think I will also go in with my chopstick and some metallic paint and kind of draw the wings in too. Let me take you down and do a little close-up of everything that I've done so far, especially with the Australian Floetrol. Okay, here's a close-up with the Australian Floetrol. You can really see, let me turn this light out. You can really see the cells forming with it, but it just gave it a little bit of definition there. Let's take a look at the rest of it. Okay, I am going to wait about 10 minutes and then come back and try to fill in the wings. All right, I am back with my very noxious liquid gold paint. And I was looking at um, paintings of flamingos and their wing feathers kind of go down this way. So what I might do is try to draw a little bit of a arch here and then kind of a little bit of something there. <laughs> Good luck. Since I'm horrible at drawing, that's why I do fluid art because I can't draw with a darn. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see that very well in the viewfinder here, but I do have a, at least a little bit of a feather action going on here, um, just to you know, add just a little something to it. Now I'm going to put in actually the eyeball too. Okay, let me see if I want to put in a little bit more here.
Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back, take the tape off of the legs, do the legs and, and um, tape off the pink when it's dry, do the legs and the beak at that point. So I will see you when it's dry, the pink part is dry. I am back to do the rest of the flamingo. This part came out really great. I'm gonna do the beak in black and I'm gonna do the legs in green. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the black. I'm just gonna use my Mars Black by um, Windsor & Newton and Artist Loft Metallic Black and just maybe a tiny bit of titani Titanium White by Amsterdam. Let's do a little bit of that. Just a few touches of it. There. Get in my Mars Black. And then a lot of the Artist Loft Metallic Black. how that goes. Okay, I actually don't think that the, uh, the white should have been in there, so I'm going to do a little bit more and try to get rid of that. my finger in here and touch up the sides a little bit. Go around the other side. Make sure all those sides are covered. Again, the white came through there. Let's try that a little bit more. There's a little bit of the tip that I can't get my finger quite on. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's better. I will go ahead and leave it like that. And let's do the legs. The legs I'm going to use Terra Verde by Atelier. A little bit of olive green by Atelier. Some Maria's Shimmering Spruce Metallic by Porridge Posse Paints. And some Iridescent Green Yellow by Peve. I will go ahead and do a little Titanium White on here also. But just, just a little bit. The legs aren't very big, so I'm not going to get a huge, you know, amount to, I'm using a lot of colors, so. Not a whole lot of room for a lot of colors, so I don't need a lot of white. I just want a little, little few cells. Ooh, 
that was close. I almost squirted on the pink part. That would have been bad. Make sure the bottle stays away from the pink part. <laughs> Pearl Olive Green. Okay. I want a little bit more of the the pebeo and the pearl over here and over here. Maybe a little bit more here. bit of the terra vert also really good. Let me touch up the edges here. Quite a bit of edges to touch up because there's not a whole lot of paint that went over the sides. to the other side to check that side too. You always want to tap more than swipe when you're doing your edges. It, you know, you get the paint on there a little bit thicker then um, to cover those edges. And I did miss some when I was doing the pink part. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and touch that up once we start finishing up. Before I resin. Okay. I will take you off of the, oh, there's one more thing I wanna do. I wanna go ahead and put the swipe of the mouth on the, um, the beak. So I'm gonna pause you, let it sit for a few minutes and then come back. Okay, I am back to put in a little swipe for the beak. I'm gonna use my just a little tiny bit of my metallic liquid silver, and I will link that down below. It's the same brand that I used to do the, the eye and the wings. Just dipping it in with a chopstick, and let's go from there to there. Okay, now he has a mouth. <laughs> All right, I will take you off, do a little bit of close-up, and, um, and then I will show it to you when it's dry. Okay, here are his little legs. I like how all these colors came out. And then his beak. You can see the metallic there. All right, I will come back when she is completely dry and show that to you. Here is the resined and finished flamingo. I'm really, really happy with her or him. 
I'm not sure which one it is. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ring that alarm bell.